it's here the camera i wanted for a very long time it's finally here in my hand i'm so excited hi guys this is sam welcome to my photography channel today we are unboxing the legendary canon us 1v this is canon's last flagship film camera i got it from ebay for about $800 right now, you can find it somewhere between $500 to $1,500. It depends on the condition. Um, this is my first time buying things from eBay, so I'm a little bit nervous. All right, look like this is very securely packed, which is nice. It's bubble wrapped. This feels like Christmas in January. <laughs> It says right here, Canon 1V HS. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, it's a Qian Zhi He. Is there something in there? No, I saw there's gonna be notes or something. I don't know. Oh, this is the original strap. I'm probably not gonna use this, but it's nice to have it. And... Doo -doo. Oh my god, this is huge! I mean, this is probably the same size with my Canon uh, 5D Mark IV since it came with the grip. It feels so much larger. There's like a minor scratch up here, but besides that, it's actually really, really nice. I am so happy. Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Little Tokyo to test out my... To finally, finally test out my new uh, Canon 1V film camera. I just bought a whole bunch of uh, film stocks. I think the first row I'm gonna load up is the Kodak Ultra Max 400. I don't even know if it's successfully loaded up. I mean, right now it shows on the screen there is a number one. I would assume this is the first frame. And this is it. It's very uh, simple and straightforward. The reason I decided to get this camera simply because I have been shooting with Canon camera for many years. I'm familiar with the system and this will also allow me to use all my EF lenses that I already own. The camera is very simple and easy to work with, especially if you're already using Canon. I'm shooting on a 24-70mm lens here. It's also my most used lens when shooting digital. I have been shooting digital long enough to build my shooting habit with digital cameras. Since I work with mostly non-model people, people who has no experience posing for camera, I often like to capture the moment in movement. Talking, laughing, walking, dancing. Shooting digital gives me that luxury to snap as many pictures as I want. Nowadays, as digital camera keep getting faster, sharper, smarter, with all of that autofocus, eye tracking technology, etc. Photography for me, it's 60% shooting and 40% calling. The calling and the editing process is just as equally important. Plus, a lot of the time I like to start shooting right away, knowing the photos are most likely going to be useless. Just to get people used to the sound of the camera and making them feel comfortable to be photographed. But the shooting on film, take all of that luxury away. When we get to the location, my instinct is telling me to start shooting right away, to warm up and to get comfortable. But my logic also tells me one click basically equals one dollar if not more. So I immediately felt this conflicted pressure. Plus, I don't want the model to feel like I don't know what I want or I don't know what I'm doing. I feel more pressured to press down the shutter button. It was an overall 
very stressful feeling. Up until this point, I didn't know my shooting habit with digital camera could affect me so much when switched to film. The camera I was shooting on, which is the Canon 1V, has built-in light meter and a pretty decent autofocus system. Yet, it still takes way longer to frame up a shot. I feel like I often missed the moment because I was hesitating. I can't just press down the shutter mindlessly anymore and also play it back right on the spot and to see if I get the shot. That's another thing about shooting on film. The uncertainty. I found myself still instinctively trying to check the back of the camera as if it's digital. I realize it is not. The uncertainty is so scary but also very exhilarating. A lot of people who still shoot on film loves that uncertainty. Try to get like me and her together. Oh yeah, oh, oh, I can't wait for you to look at the footage and see how much I've already done that. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep. Can you hear this? Yep. Uh oh, roll out. Uh huh. This roll is done. All right, I'm so freaking terrified. I'm so scared. Now we're gonna open it. Open it and then unroll it in the sunlight. What? <laughs> okay, first roll is done. The first roll took me a long time to finish because all of the pressure and anxiety. Then I decided to load up a Fuji 200 expired film to do a practice run, to shoot without worrying and thinking too much. Because the film is expired, according to Google and all the other film photography channel I watch on YouTube, I overexposed the film one stop to compensate. 200, but this film is expired, so we're gonna shoot it was like 100 probably. Oops. No, wait, if it's 200, we expose it to 200. Uh, that means it overexposed myself. Wait, for 100, right? That's overexposed myself. All right, stop rolling. <laughs> After I drop off the film at the lab, I'm so excited to see the results. I was anxiously refresh my inbox every day and waiting for the digital scan. Even though many of them came back as bad photos, like not in focus, blurry, eyes are not open, etc. I still love the color and the texture. Does shooting on film make me realize I'm a bad photographer? Not necessarily. But shooting on film will require me to change my shooting habit. I will need to be more precise and more decisive. I can't. Another thing about this camera is since I don't have a digital back, since I'm so short, when I'm shooting with my digital camera, sometimes like if I want to have a higher angle, I will raise my camera like this and I still be able to look at the screen, but this, I just can't. Shooting on film also make me realize how much I rely on technology of digital camera. I mean, don't get me wrong, cameras are tools. There is no right or wrong ways of shooting. Different tools suit different shooting style. Shooting on film just forces me to slow down, to pay more attention, to be more careful to really find and craft the perfect moment. That being said, I enjoy it just as I enjoy burst 20 frames per second. Alright, this is not really a camera review video anymore at this point. It's more like a digital photographer switched to film for the first time and failed and what I do now. <laughs> I guess the answer is go shoot more films. I think with more time and more practice, 
and more money, obviously, because films are so expensive right now. Hopefully, I will be more comfortable and more confident with this camera and um, take better photos. Roll it. All right, we're done now. <laughs> the music's so loud. All right, we're done now. Thank you, Ivy, for being my model today, as usual. All right, this is Sam. This is the video for this week. I will see you next time.